Welcome to this season preview edition of Tornado Watch. I am King Sports Information Director Travis Chell here with new head men's track coach Amanda Williams. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Um, men's track and field won one conference championship the indoor last year. Finished second, I believe, in the outdoor season. Um, they have a good good core returning this year um, all around in all aspects. Um, what are you know, how much will that solid core help in attaining this year's goals, which I'm sure is up there again with a conference championship and hopefully two? Um, it's great that we have a lot of people returning this year. Um, we only have three seniors, Spencer Frampton, Jordan Novi, or uh, Jordan Tippins, and Taylor Dix. So we have a huge core group returning. Um, it's great that the majority of our team are juniors, so they kind of know the expectations that we have and they know um, what to expect when they get there and how to present themselves at, um, at the conference level. Yeah, and you mentioned Spencer Frannell already, who kind of was a, kind of paved the way last year as the first King track and field athlete to make it to NCAA championships in the 10,000 meter run. Um, how does that help not only him knowing how what it takes to get there and then does that help the rest of the team seeing what he did and he can kind of, you know, relay that experience to them? Oh, absolutely. Um, anytime you get to go to and the national meet, it's, um, it's a huge accomplishment, so great job to him. Um, it was great seeing him race out there. Um, he came back and he had all this great experience to tell the rest of the team. And I think it just motivates the rest of the athletes to hit those times that they need to hit and be able to go and experience and see other collegiate athletes out there um, that compete at the national level. Um, so it, it not only motivates him to continue to have the success that he had, but also the other athletes as well. Yeah, that's always good going into the season is that motivation. Oh, absolutely. Reach for. Um, other distance runners besides him is, you mentioned Jordan Owen and Brent Swiney, who they both, they're both coming off a good season. Noe had a good season last year in the track season, and Brent had a pretty good, really good year in cross country this year. Um, what are the expectations for them going forward here this year? Um, we're expecting really good things out of Jordan Noe and Brent Swiney. Um, Jordan Noe's 3K steeple race at conference last year was probably one of the best races I think I've ever witnessed. Um, so it's going to be great to see him back out there in the steeple. Um, and then, of course, in the 5K and the 15 and in the DMR races. Um, and then Brent Swiney, I'm really excited to see him in the 1500. Um, he's more of a speed guy, so he's done the base training in the fall. And I'm just really excited to see him get out there and take the lead in the 15s and the 3Ks. So it should be great to watch. Yeah, he's a defending conference champion. Absolutely. Um, Sprinters seems like a really solid group here too. You return four: um, Justin Uri, Reggie Warren, Austin Edgecombe, and Jordan Tippins, who all had great years. They they were all region in the four by four, and also you know ran well in the four by one. Um, you know, how did they stay at that level, and you know, hopefully exceed it to the NCAA level this year? Um, well, they've already went off to a really great start. Our first meet at Ab, um, Justin and Reggie, they both performed great um, for their very first meet. So it's really encouraging. I think they can use that as motivation for the rest of the season. Um, they are, those four guys are kind of the meat of the sprint group. Um, they have experience, which is great. They're able to come and lead the freshmen and um, the sophomores through and kind of show them the ropes and everything. So it's going to be great to see um, Justin and Reggie and Jordan and Allison just come out there and step up and be real leaders on the team and have that core on the sprint and the jumping group. Yeah, and moving to field events. There may not be a ton of experience there, but I think we gained, you know, good experience last year from Tom Lampkin and Jeremy Stamper, who one of them was named track field athlete outdoor last year in the conference. Um, you know, also, what are you expecting out of them? And, you know, those two can kind of teach all the new guys too, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, Jeremy is still young. He's just a sophomore, which is great. I'm glad that we get to have him for three more seasons. Um, Tom is a junior, um, and he is a great leader. Um, he's a very um, good mentor to the other athletes, especially the freshmen and sophomore that, sophomores that we do have. Um, I expect Jeremy and Tom to do both great and um, in indoor and outdoor. Um, they get to throw more in outdoor. There's four throwing events in outdoor, so it's great to see them um, expand and actually get to focus on their specific events for that. Yeah, and then jumps is led by Eric Jones, who mm -hmm. was all region in the indoor season at long jump. Um, looking for another big year out of him, and I believe you have some new young young guys coming in here too. Yeah, um, Eric, I'm ex very excited about him. There's just kind of something about a junior year where people finally just really start to pop, and they kind of got the grasp of um, competing at this level. So I'm very excited to see Eric in the triple jump and the long jump. Um, we have the graduate assistant, um, Coach Carly, who's been really focused on getting um, Eric and Trey, who's the incoming freshman, um, really getting them the experience that they need and the 
technique work down and just kind of the one-on-one -on -one coaching that they that group really needed. Um, so I'm very excited to see them actually get out there and compete against some of the best in the conference and in the region. Yeah, it should be fun. Um, the, the season actually started in December. Yeah, one meet, kind of a, you know, let's get out there and see where everything shakes out. Um, at Appalachian State, uh, New Ring set a provisional time, or posted a provisional time in the 200, I believe. Um, can you kind of explain what that means to people that may not know what that means for the NCAA championships going forward? Yeah, um, the NCAA, they have um, two times or marks for each event um, <clears throat> that is ran in indoor and outdoor. Um, they have a provisional and an automatic. Um, the provisional times are a little slower or a little lower than the automatic times. And when you hit provisional, um, they only take so many athletes in each event, like they'll take 16 or 8 um, in each event, and if you don't hit the automatic time, then you're kind of just waiting to see if you're in the top 8 or the top 16. Okay, that should help some of the viewers at home. Uh, what Also at this event, uh, what did you learn from the first meet of the year, and what can improve going forward to get ready for conference here in about a month or so? Um, the first meet of the year is always a great place um, just to see where all my athletes are. We have been in so much base training. Um, they have no speed work underneath them, um, and, and that was evident. Um, you could definitely see that, but that's a good thing. That's not necessarily a bad thing since it was in December, and we go all the way to the end of April for our outdoor season. Um, so it's just I was able to see that we need to really work on speed, and, and that's right along with the training plan that we have. Um, but it was a very positive me. I thought very um, highly of the me. Everything went well. Everyone seemed to perform well and have um, good motivation going into Christmas break and then coming into our meet this weekend. Yeah, it's always good to get out there early. Get your yeah, feet wet, especially for exactly. the newcomers. Yeah, and they've been practicing for three months <laughs> before then, so they were raring and ready to go for that meet. Just finally get out there and compete and see where they're at. All right. Thank you and good luck this year. Thank you.